comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and we'll read verses 11 and 12. And it says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, an herb yielding seed, after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Amen. The Lord wants us to consider certain things on this great morning. Amen. The first thing he wants us to consider is that everything we do, everything we say, and everything we think is a seed. Amen. Everything we do, everything we say, everything we think is a seed. Secondly, the Lord wants us to consider on this great morning the words that he spoke to Noah in Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. But there God made a promise unto Noah. He said that as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. As long as this earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease, will never stop. And what God was saying is, if you plant a seed, there will come a time where you will reap a harvest. That's a promise from God. And then the third thing the Lord wants us to consider on this great morning are the words of Genesis chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. And it's the characteristic of a seed. The seed that God created was created to operate in a certain way. And what we saw in the scripture text today is that all seed reproduce after its own kind. You don't plant a seed of one kind and get fruit of a different kind. You plant apples, you don't get corn. Uh, you plant sunflower seeds, you do not get an oak tree. You get sunflowers. Because God designed seed to reproduce after its own kind. And so the Lord wants us to consider all these things this morning and put them together. Everything we do, everything we say, everything we think is a seed. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease. So as we plan our thoughts and our words and our actions, we, there will come a time where we will reap a harvest. And when we look at our lives, the harvest that is our lives, uh, in large measure what we see will therefore be a function of the seed that we have been planting because seed we produce after its own kind. And so right now if you look at any area of your life and you don't like what you see, please understand that God has placed within you the great power to change what you see because your thoughts, your words, and your actions are all seeds. And as you plant the right type of seed, there will come a time where you will reap a harvest that is consistent with that seed because God designed seed to reproduce after its own kind. So the Lord wants us to be encouraged today, and he wants you to be encouraged today. If there's any aspect of your life that you do not like, Get busy. Don't get depressed. Don't get down. Get busy and begin planting different seed. Because if you plant different seed, you will reap a different harvest than what you're currently reaping right now. So be encouraged today. Thank God for the seed producing power that he placed on the inside of you through your thoughts, your actions, and your deeds. And then get busy leaning on the promise of God that seed time and harvest will never cease and begin planting a seed, expecting a harvest. And when you produce or sow the right seed, 
you will reap the type of harvest that you like. God is encouraging you today to plant seed that is consistent with the type of life that you want to have. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. A little while longer, here's what you gotta do, just believe. Just believe.